Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I want to take a look at the iOS 12 beta number 2 that was recently released to developers. Now, if you want to watch what is actually brand new in iOS 12, meaning what are the new features of iOS 12, see the video that I linked down below in the description box. This video is going to go over what we have new in the second beta that Apple released to developers and will also release it to the public beta testers very soon. So let's dive in and start immediately. So if we go to the settings right away, uh, one of the new things that, that was added was the screen time feature and that's the feature I, I do talk about in my other video that is in the description down below. But if you tap this screen time now after you update to iOS 12 beta 2, but if you tap on the screen time and go inside and you're going to see this option that says turn on screen time, if I tap turn on, you'll see this new screen that gives you a little description. You can pause the video and you can take a look at it. So the actual screen time feature is not that different, uh, but when you do launch it, uh, it shows you this new screen that gives you a quick description. Now, if I do continue, you'll see the same uh, screen time uh, that I talked about in my previous video, which gives you an overview of how you have been using your device. The next thing that I've added on the iOS 12 beta 2 uh, is if you go to the battery over here, uh, you'll see that over here we have a battery health beta thing. And this is a great feature actually. If you tap on it, it goes in and it shows you the maximum capacity of your battery. And if you read the description, it says this is a measure of battery capacity relative to when it was new. So as you can see, mine is actually 99%. So I did lose 1% battery capacity. And at the bottom, it says that uh, my, my battery is currently supporting normal peak performance. So it's a very healthy battery right now. So if you have, are having any kind of battery troubles with your iPhones, you'll be able to come in here and take a look at it. And from here, uh, it'll give you a percentage. And based on that percentage, you, you can take an action uh, such as sending your phone in to Apple or somebody else for repair. And other things we have here is we have the, uh, the battery um, uh, usage meter here. So as you can see, it tells the battery level, the battery activities, when it was most active. And I can tap on this uh, level here and there uh, to get very specific uh, uh, information if you look down over here okay so not too much different but they did add this battery health over here so let's move on to the next thing that they have updated now one thing I forgot to mention on the screen time is if you do go back in here uh, on the top you'll see something new uh, in this beta version that says all devices if I do tap all devices this gives me a total combined view of all my iOS devices that are linked to my Apple ID so this is a a comprehensive overlook of how I'm using my actual Apple and that could be your Apple watch it could be your Apple iMac and if you have any other iPhones uh, connected to the same account you can also tap on devices and I'll actually show you what devices it is currently tracking so I do have iOS 12 beta running on one iPad in the house so that is uh, showing up right here that's the phone itself and then you can tap on all devices I'll show you this screen again. All right. Next up, if you go into the notifications over here, uh, as you know, they come up. They came up with new grouped notifications that look much better. And again, I talk about that in my other video. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, as you can see, notifications are now grouped. So these are all the Twitter notifications, and these are all the, uh, the YouTube Studio notifications I can tap on, and it expands. But uh, you already know that probably. So what they did this time is if you do go into the notifications, you'll see a new option. It's called Siri Suggestions. So if you tap on Siri Suggestions, you can turn on or off uh, notifications regarding Siri Suggestions for particular apps. So that's fantastic as well. Another way to tweak and customize the notification. Now, a lot of people are probably familiar with the, the autofill password option uh, built into Safari. So what they did was they made it look a little bit different. So I'm trying to log in here to my uh, developer website. And if I tap on this screen, as you can see, this little pop-up box pops up and it looks a little bit nice. At the bottom, I have the keyboard option and a key option. Uh, the key option allows you to access your keychain. So if you want to use any other account other than the one that is suggested over here, uh, you can tap this. It's going to bring up your portfolio of your, uh, I mean, your, your passwords in your keychain, and you can pick any address that you want, and it will autofill your information. As you can see, when you tap it, it's also scanning, it's saying uh, scanning with Face ID. So in the past, it was not saying scanning, but now it's saying scanning with Face ID, 
which is also something uh, a little bit new. And of course, going back into the settings, if you go into the do not disturb mode, uh, what you'll see is everything is the same here, uh, but there's some added descriptions on what everything here actually does. So uh, you'll see extra, uh, more descriptive descriptions so people can see and know exactly what it is for those of us that are not technically inclined. So if I tap this here, for example, you'll see a full paragraph here. So anybody that reads this will understand exactly what this is designed to do. All right, let's move on. And of course, in the last video, we also talked about the fact that they added voice memos uh, to the actual uh, iPhone here. Uh, they actually did an upgrade. We already have it. So this is the new redesigned voice memo. Uh, what they did was they also added some, you can, by the way, you can watch the full details on this in the other video, just in case you're interested in, uh, if you did not see it already. Uh, but uh, if you do go into the settings here, and if you scroll down to the actual voice memo settings, uh, you'll see some extra options at the bottom here. Uh, as you can see, you can delete voice memos uh, that were actually deleted. You can clear them in 30 days, uh, seven days, one day, or immediately. So if you delete something, it just gets cleared out. You cannot recover it. Or you can say never, uh, which is kind of a safe, safe option if you uh, have accidentally lost something important in the past. And of course, then you have the audio, audio quality, compressed or lossless. Uh, which takes more space, by the way. And then you have the default name, uh, which just picks a name for the actual recording. Now, if you go to the Photos app over here, you'll see a new, uh, new thing over here. Uh, under Media Types here, they have simply just added more things for you to look at. So video, selfies, live photos, portrait, long exposure, panoramas. So it splits them up real nice so you can easily access a certain photo by the media type. All right, so that's also uh, pretty fantastic. All right, so overall, not a lot of changes. I mean, uh, if you actually watch the first video, you'll see all the new features. But in this video, we just looked at some of the updates that I personally noticed. Uh, there might be some other things that you guys may notice. You can just drop a comment down below and let me know. And if there's a lot of things I missed, I may go and make another video for an update. But overall, I do wanna let you know that the iPhone now feels a little bit more snappier with the beta update. So again, it's very fast. And one thing, like I said, in iOS 12, is the fact that they change the launch speed of the actual apps. So when I launch an app, it's pretty uh, speedy now, uh, faster than what it is on the iOS 11. So that's actually a fantastic little feature. And, uh, and of course on iOS 12 beta 2, it's even a little bit more refined. All right guys, so that's all for this video. Uh, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech for more updates and also give this video a thumbs up and if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, make sure to follow me at Saki Tech Online for the latest updates. Guys, have a fantastic day for today.